You are requested to kindly mark your attendance, please. You are requested to mark your attendance. There are 26 of us, excluding me. I should receive at least 25 attendance, okay? Eight. Ten. Eleven, twelve. Kindly mark your attendance so that we can now begin our lesson. Attendance, please. Anyone who is still left? Two more. Two people have still not marked their attendance. I should receive two more attendance. Okay. Uh, welcome back to your online lessons. Um, in today's lesson, uh, we were already doing the active to changing the voice from active to passive in the class during our face to face lessons. Um, we're going to continue with it. Today, uh, we're going to convert, as you can see on the slide, from past perfect passive. Uh, we, we will be converting from active to passive voice. Okay. Um, yes, please. Uh, we'll be converting from active to the passive voice. Um, I will go according to the three kinds of the sentences. Affirmative sentences are the ones which are your general statements that you um, give out the way we normally speak, okay? They are general statements that we give out. Um, in affirmative, as you can see on the screen, um, in the active voice, you use subject plus your helping verb had i will not give you like um if, if you remember during the class i used to tell you that um uh, there are two helping verbs that we used for the present has and have um has was used for names singular nouns um and this um first person pronoun oh, sorry third um second person pronoun he she it has okay and have in the present perfect is used for um, plural nouns, um, first person pronoun, and third person pronoun. But over here, in the past perfect, we have only one helping verb, which is, oh, where is my pen? Okay. We have only one helping verb, which is had. Okay, so had is your helping verb used for all sorts of pronouns, names, and uh, plurals and singulars, or singular nouns, okay? So regardless, uh, no matter what, your helping verb will not change into has or have since it is past. Had is the helping verb, which indicates that your tense is in the past. To show that the action is completed, to show that the action is perfect, we use verb in its third form, which is also called the past participle form of the verb. We are very familiar with using past participle over and over again. Okay, it is still writing. Thank you very much. Okay, now if you notice, um, just like we have done previously, you have the subject in the beginning, subject is the performer of the action, then you have the helping verb, the main verb, which is your past participle, and in the end, you have the object. Um, for example, Dave had kicked, Dave had kicked the ball, they had eaten apples. Now, Dave is a name. Dave is singular. So we're using had the helping verb and kick the main verb, okay? I'll get myself a board, uh, a whiteboard. And then, um, you know, just like I do it in the class, I'll make sure that we're using a lot of um, real or, you know, real boards this i find this more um difficult okay so dave is your subject 
had is your helping verb. Kicked is verb in its third form, and the ball is the object. In the second example, they, which is your third form of the verb, uh, sorry, your third form of uh, third person pronoun, and also showing that the people are more in number, plural be here. So they had eaten. You see, the helping verb has not changed. Then you have the uh, verb in its third form and apples. Here the subject is singular. Um, here the subject is plural. Subject is singular. Oh, so, sorry, object is singular. Object is plural. Subject is singular. Subject is plural. But again, it is in the form of a pronoun. Coming to the passive voice, as you can see, <coughs> I have previously shown you Chris, Cross, and Applesauce. Okay, the object comes in the place or replaces the um, mm -hmm. subject. The subject replaces the object. See, the object was at the end. Now the object is in the beginning. The subject was in the beginning. Now it is at the end. And down comes your helping verb, your verb in its third form. And the new thing that we have just added is been. Remember, I have previously told you as well that whenever you have been in your or um, any form of be in your sentence, it shows that the sentence is in the passive form. Okay, this is Justin, uh, what do you call it? Someone just marked their attendance, okay? Okay, we'll continue. Um, now, okay. Now, as you can see, um, the ball was the object in the active voice. The ball has now, and it was coming at the end of the sentence. Now the ball is at the beginning, had, been kicked had kicked has changed into had been kicked and then comes by plus the performer of the action by dave dave was in the beginning the subject was at the start now the subject has come at the end okay the ball had been kicked by dave ball is singular your helping verb is just the way it is Apples is plural. Nothing happens to the helping verb. Helping verb remains the way it is had. Okay. Remember in the past form, your helping verb does not change. Had hai, to wo had hi rahega, no matter what. The only thing is object comes in the beginning. Subject replaces the object and comes at the end. Had been ka addition ho jata hai, and verb in its third form. Apples had been eaten by then okay moving over to the next slide we have the negative voice um just like this um the active voice you have subject had the only difference is you are adding not exactly after had okay the difference between affirmative and negative is that immediately after had you will write down not to show that the sentence is in its negative form okay now also remember that had not can be changed into its contracted form hadn't if needed you can change it from had not into hadn't okay it is absolutely okay you can change it um, and you might see it in the contracted form in statements as well. Subject plus had not plus verb in its third form and object. Dave had not kicked the ball. They had not eaten apples. And we come to the passive voice again. Object comes in the beginnings. Subject goes at the end. By doer, we mean the performer of the action. Object had not plus been plus verb in its third form plus by add karke you're going to add the performer of the action the ball had not been kicked by dave apples 
had not been eaten by them yakub don't waste your time bete don't waste your time mera beta theek hai let it go look at the screen theek hai very simple if see if you simply pay attention to your tenses they are not tricky at all coming to the negative sentence uh, so we are done with the negative ones coming to the interrogative ones the only difference is that the helping verb if you notice you in in a oh ho in affirmative sentences you first have your subject then you use your had then comes your main verb okay now keep this in your mind what is happening in the interrogative your helping verb is now coming in the beginning it was over here before verb it has jumped from here and come before the subject helping verb plus subject plus your main verb and then comes your object and at the end you're going to put a question mark your question your statement in affirmative was dave had kicked the ball now it is going to be had dave kicked the ball question mark had they eaten apples question mark and in the passive voice again we know that the object comes in the beginning instead of the subject and the subject goes at the end the difference is that instead of stay coming after the object had is going to come before the object just like we have done previously okay had object been verb in its third form plus doer include with the addition of the word by had the ball oh i didn't write the over here so sorry had the ball been kicked by dave had apples been eaten by them question mark theek hai very simple it's not tricky at all but then again we have another kind of interrogative sentences the ones in which we add the wh words at times your statement your interrogative statement can have the wh words as well wh words stand for who what when why where how etc okay now in such a case the wh word is going to precede had we already saw that had comes from here before the subject and now the wh word will also be written before the similar had okay why had dave kicked the ball when had they eaten the apples in the previous example you saw that you did not have why you did not have when you you wrote the simple interrogative had dave kicked the ball had they eaten apples now i am telling you that when you need to add the wh word the wh word will come before had why had david kicked the ball when had they eaten apples the similar thing will happen in the passive voice as well your wh word will come before had then comes your object then comes been verb in its third form and in the end by using the word by you are going to introduce your performer of the action why had the ball again my mistake why had the ball been kicked by dave when had apples been eaten by them okay just a minute i'll take your questions um wait a minute please i'll check your questions people are saying stuff uh ma'am haven't we done this already bete we have done present perfect but we were doing it in the what you call it as translations earlier on theek hai now i am teaching it to you in the form of active to passive yes you might be remembering that we did this in grade 6 all of your grade 6 grammar uh from unit uh um 10 till 14 was based on 
द परफेक्ट टेंसेज ठीक है प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट पास्ट परफेक्ट फ्यूचर परफेक्ट टेंसेज ओके एंड देन यू हैड द रिव्यू मे बी यूर रिमेंबरिंग दैट बट देन अगेन दिस इज वॉट वी हैव डन फॉर आर ट्रांसलेशन एक्सरसाइज इज वेल ओके रिमेंबर वेन वी एंड एंड टिल नाउ वी हैव डन ऑल योर ट्रांसलेशन एक्सरसाइज इन देर एक्टिव फॉर्म in the active voice only theek hai we will be doing translation exercises in the passive form as well okay uh ma'am is revising i think no not exactly revising i am teaching you active to passive that was present perfect this is past exactly who is doer doer is the performer of the action the one who performs the action i am on your on your google classroom i have already posted uh, uh, added a video of this wonderful lady uh, from whom i sometimes um, seek ideas as well theek hai so do have a look at that video as well if you cannot understand anything over here uh, am i don't think there's something okay oh, okay fine whatever you guys are fighting over here um when is why and what wh questions see wh questions um are used when you want to be more when you want to ask uh, precisely when an action had taken place okay when had they eaten the apples they had eaten the apples at 8 o'clock okay why had dave kicked the ball he wanted to check his uh, goaling skills okay he wanted to check his skills to ask a question uh to ask the um, how uh, to to get a specific answer for the question you will add the wh word okay okay i'm going to remove all the annotations and see if there is more okay at times one last thing at times your sentence will not have a doer oh ho oh. by again by the word doer we mean performer okay my daughter is having a fight with her grandma <laughs> okay by doer we mean performer of the action the one who performs the action theek hai at times your active voice will not have the performer of the action what will you do in such a case um and also the statement is in interrogative okay who had verb in its third form object who had kicked the ball arshia we ask such questions very often isn't it so who had eaten five apples now in the passive form what will happen now notice the difference over here instead of who we are going to use by whom had object been verb in its third form by whom had the ball been kicked by whom had apples been eaten get the idea earlier on what we were doing we were adding by and performer at the end isn't it so now since we do not have a performer what is happening we are adding by and whom we are asking about the performer of the action in the very beginning clear any questions i am ready to receive your questions now you are allowed to unmute yourselves are you i'm not allowing my students to unmute i think you have the ability to unmute yourselves yes ma'am we have yes ma'am can you hear me loud and clear was i clear enough for you guys yes ma'am yes ma'am aapki awaaz lekin zara beech mein lag kar rahi thi ha wo at um, at one particular point my internet did so that uh, my connection is unstable anyone has a question any question no 
Okay. I, don't think so. I will no. show you what should I have prepared for you. It is pretty simple. Okay, ma'am. Oh, wait, wait. Nice. Um, you have two options. Either you can get a printout of the uh, exercise or you can <coughs> you can either get a printout of the exercise or you can um, write it down in your notebook. Just like we did previously. Okay, here it is. Here is the exercise. What we can do is we can quickly, um, I can quickly ask a few of you to, wait, there, somebody said something in the chat and I never checked it. Okay, I can't see the chat right now. Okay. Um, Hashim, I'd I like you to- There is nothing important. Hashim, I'd like you to do the first one. I had worn blue shoes. Change it into passive, please. <laughs> When the blue shoes had worn by him. Had been worn by Had me. been worn by him. Not him. I will change into me. Achha, I will uh, share. Uh, there was this. I Didn't I add that slide? Oh, I was supposed to add another slide in which a uh, change of pronouns was also uh, quite clear. Okay, I will see if I can find it, then I'll post it on Google Classroom as well. Okay, um, in that slide, I'll show you how the, uh, sorry, how the pronoun can be changed from active to the passive form. Okay, okay, Hashim? Okay, Hashim? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Right, please. Uh, Maria Imran, I'd like you to try the next one. Number two, Mari Imran. The um, tables had been cleaned by Joey. Joey, the tables had been cleaned by Joey. Very good. All right. Number three, Sara Rehan. The key had been lost by us. The key had been lost by us. Very good. Uh, next, I have um, Valid, number four. Fight had been started by them. Fight had been started by them. Number five, Yakub. <clears throat> the article had been read by me. The article, okay, now if you notice, had been, oh, had been reading, I had been reading an article. Oh, I had been reading. This is perfect continuous. I should not include this. Okay, thank you. I had read an article. Oh, mistake, Nikolai, ma'am, ke kaam mein. Oh. Has been read by me. Very good. It was in the perfect continuous form. I have just changed it. Okay. Number six, Adisa. The window had not been closed by me. The window had not been closed by me. Number seven, I can't see many uh, eighth B students. Maria Imran. Number eight. Ma'am, you have asked me uh, the first, uh, the first one. Me, okay, second one. Okay, I'm so sorry, Shanze. The paper had not been bought by them. The paper had not been bought by them. Hashir, I'd like you to do number nine. Oh, sorry, number eight. Number eight. Sorry, number eight. She had not noticed me. Hashir? I might think he is typing. Um, okay. Omer Siddiqui, number eight. Out loud, please. I hadn't been noticed by her. I hadn't been noticed by her. Amal, number nine. Uh, Ma'am, if we had not or hadn't written, 
are they the same thing? They are absolutely the same. I even remember a, a little while ago, I told you that you can use the contracted form hadn't. It's absolutely yes, fine. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Amal, number nine. Had he recorded a song? Had the song record? Had that song Amal? been recorded by? Him? Had the problem been solved by her? Had this problem been solved by her? Very good. And last one, had, Abira had, Rashid. Had he recorded that song? That song recorded by him. No, that was wrong. Abira, Abira Rashid. Ma'am, can I tell? Yes, please. Had that song been recorded by him? Very good. Had that song been recorded by him? That song is the object. The object will come over here, replace this thing, okay? This will go at the end. And had already is there recorded before recorded we're going to write down bane so your answer will be had the song been recorded by them all right with that we come to the end of our lesson thank you very much any questions no, okay 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 thank you so very much Arshia, you still have a question bitte Ma'am, will you upload this worksheet on Google Classroom? Exactly, but I will load it um, uh, right now. And as soon as this, um, the current uh, video, um, sorry, session that we're having, as soon as it is recorded and converted into a YouTube video, I will um, load everything all together. Um, also, your syllabus has been shared on uh, Google Classroom already. I shared it last night. And so please have a look at it and start preparing for your exams from now. Okay? Um, obvious, uh, the paper will be according to the board pattern, which you have just um, taken recently. Your papers, exam papers begin from 5th of April. You have received the circular on Saturday about that as well. Okay? Thank you very much. Sam, do we sir. have to do this exercise on notebook? Yes, you have to do this exercise on the notebook. If you have the ability, if you have access to a printer, take a printout and simply, um, you know, attempt it on the printed sheet and paste it in your notebook. If not, kindly put the proper heading, proper date and everything, just like we do it in the class and attempt it in your notebook by writing the statements and the answers. If you are doing it by hand, please make sure that after every statement, um, like you write the um, active form, write the passive form, leave a line, and then move to the next statement. Please make sure that you do your work in time and neatly. With that, we come to the end of our lesson. If you haven't marked your attendance, please mark it now. Thank you very much. Okay, Allah is ma'am. 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 Allah is ma'am.